the widespread damage in the east this morning. That's where we find WDSU's Heath Allen. He's spent the past few hours there surveying the damage. And Heath, as the sun comes to light here on this Wednesday, many folks waking up to similar conditions there. You're absolutely right about that. So many contradictions at this point where we're standing. Uh, actually, just I'll step over. Take a look. You see this piece of a, a roof here? The house I showed you just a little while ago that lost its roof. Well, we found it. It's across the street, slammed up against this fence. And as you're looking at that, I'm looking right behind Kadisha as she's taking these pictures. And there's a school bus. School bus is rolling through, apparently picking up students and heading, heading for class today. Again, so many contradictions. As the sun comes up this morning, you're gonna see a lot more scenes that look a lot like this. This story is going to be repeated from uh, where we saw in Araby, where that system moved up and then hit here in New Orleans East and then crossed the lake onto the North Shore in some areas, including Lacombe. Uh, it's gonna be a tough situation for folks as they get up this morning and start trying to assess what happened to them overnight. We'll keep an eye on it for you guys. Back to you. All right, Heath, thank you very much. Heath Allen reporting live in New Orleans East. And we do want to see the conditions in your respective neighborhood. If you could do so safely, send us a picture or video to WDSU.com forward slash upload, or you can email it to our news desk, news desk at WDSU.com as well. We'll still ahead this morning as residents recover from last night's tornadoes. Thousands are still recovering from Hurricane Ida. The federal help on the way to our state and why some say it should have arrived months ago. And also millions in disaster relief coming back to our state. How this money from FEMA will get doled out. So we've got the latest just ahead.